Hey guys, Moose here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Pseudo Forest Village. I just saw a bear in the town and I don't know where it went. I've never heard a villager make that noise before and now I'm very confused. I thought it sounded like my voice almost. That was very weird. Did the bear go in here? No. It was just such weird timing. For it to be like, mm-hmm. It's also a very weird sound. Where the hell did it go? Yeah, I'll find it eventually. That's fine. Anyway, we will be hoping to finish... Oh, one of them's already done. Alright, yeah, we'll finish this one then. I think that's going to create a food problem. believe we successfully got rid of the other... Yeah, okay, we did. It's just still a raised platform, hilariously. Uh, let's go ahead and make the, um, the ramps. Nope. There we go. So I haven't been doing, I mean, I've been doing a lot, but I haven't been doing too much lately, I suppose. Mainly focused on work, as always, but what I have been doing in my free time is I finally picked up the Breath of the Wild DLC, which I'm probably gonna... I've been streaming... I stream Breath of the Wild, but I'm probably gonna, like, do a bit more of that. Some people are dying of hypothermia. That's... fine. They shouldn't be, but... I think it's because they have to go all the way around. All right, lots of people are dying of hypothermia. That's not great. So the AI is still idiotic. It's right here. You got firewood. If you guys are dying, it's honestly your own fault. Well, I guess that's going to solve our food shortage questions. <laughs> I don't want to say I hate this game sometimes, but sometimes I hate this game. Look at this. Look at- this is bullshit. Is there an update? Can I even see that here? I don't think I can. I've got the overlay open, you guys can't see it, but... Yeah, whatever. I'll check it on my phone, maybe. That had to have been like an update broke everything. Because clearly there's firewood, you know, nothing's stopping them from not dying of hypothermia. And yet here we are. Still. Concerned they're not even bringing food to their home either. Try that again. I'm a little bit furious. <laughs> like, I'm so, I've been so many I've been through so many iterations of this stupidity with this game, with just completely arbitrary kind of game breaking things that just sort of happen. Do I have... Library, there we go. Alright. Recently played. If it's Feudal Forest Village, where are you? Surprisingly... Oh no, it's right at the top. It just didn't load up right away. Come on, open the store page. Please? There we go. Store page. Pause real quick, because I'm pretty sure they're about to start dying. Ah, oh, September 4th. Hey, what do you know? They did update it recently. FV announcement number 33, game improvements non-stop. Yeah, but you had like a three or four month stop. April to September. That's not a short period of time. So you say non-stop, but I kind of don't think it's non-stop. 
Added new functions and bug fixes for the modder's SDK. Implemented color grading. You can now work with color corrections via your mods. Okay, that's cool for... Uh, not really color corrections, but colorblind mode. You can now control in-game sound via your mods. Improve HDR algorithm to work more adequate. Okay. I don't think they're native English speakers. I think it's a Eastern European developer, so I'm not going to begrudge them grammatical errors. Tweak to improved AO and bloom effects, so a lot of this is lighting. You can now see wetness effect on the surfaces during rain. Improved overall look of the borderlines between water and terrain objects. Yeah, I guess that does look kind of better. The sand is a little nicer. Good content. See, okay. I will say this. Artistically, this is really good. You want to have blue and orange next to each other if you can. They're contrasting colors and they look nice together, which is why a lot of um, like movie posters and stuff have the... Yeah, okay, so they're still broken. Bug fixes and optimizations. Fix some of the crashes occurring in the save load window. Fixed AI navigation and general AI crashes. Optimize RAM usage. Improved AI pathfinding algorithms. See, you say that, but something makes me doubt that. Fixed a couple of memory leaks. Improved and optimized the lighting, which, yeah, it's been an issue. Fixed minimap bugs. Remove the snow from underwater... Excuse me, underwater objects. Problem with the roads, unplayable, please fix soon. These are comments now. So many bug new bugs appeared with this patch, thank you. Uh, I was tempted to buy this I was tempted by this game, especially as it's currently half price, but I saw no activity from you for five months and was hesitating, especially as you brought out another EA game in July, early access. And now I see an update. Interesting timing, I thought. Then I saw the comments about the update, all the things you've broken. So this, I, we're just going to play this out because what else am I supposed to do here? I don't want to wait five months or for, five months to forever for you to fix it. So back out of my cart, this game goes. Well, so it took five months to ruin your game. Glad I read the comment before playing again. I think I will wait and see how long it takes to fix. This seems more like a bogus update to keep Steam from pulling your game from the marketplace. There are no real improvements here of all the bugs users have reported. Many bugs have introduced, have been introduced, and after five months, this should really, this should be a really substantial update. These types of bug fix, fix updates get pushed out by indies in a week, not five months. Especially when you're talking shit about other developers not updating their game. I just noticed that you can no longer click and drag to build roads. Each section of road requires its own click. Are you kidding me? I gotta try that. We gotta try that. I mean, the game's gonna fall apart around us, and that's fine. We'll just deal with it. We're gonna start... Whenever they fix it, we're gonna start back up from the save. Yeah, no click and drag. That's hilarious. Can I at least... Nope, I have to get rid of them one by one. And that part is not gonna go away. Okay people are starving, so it's not just that they won't carry fuel, they won't carry anything to their homes right now. What? After a short break? I don't call five months without an update a short break, but I'm glad you guys are back to continue updating the game. That guy probably hasn't tried playing it yet. My wife is furious that the in-game music is not working. Didn't notice, but yes, it isn't working. She hums and sings along with, to the music as I am playing this game for hours, acting as though she's picking on me. It's the only thing she can fall asleep to at this point in her life. That's actually kind of sad. Oh my god, rumor is you had abandoned this game. Hard not to think that when there's been no news for nearly half a year. Again, after talking shit about the Banished Dev abandoning his game. This is a F1B3R patch. Fix one, break three, and repeat. <laughs> That's... Yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, some German comments. God, this is like actually incredible. I think we're gonna have everyone's gonna die because they're just literally they're they're taking they're not bringing anything to the house. It's unplayable. I haven't seen a comment about this though. One guy says he can't load the game. I don't know how he says there's no sound if that's the case. The first update after four months idle and not even a single real improvement. Yeah, that's valid. I mean, modding updates are good. This game does have, like, substantial mod potential, but when you break shit like this, it kind of hampers that. 
And it doesn't run great on its own, to be totally honest. <laughs> Someone said, must be going to have a sale. That's why they're updating it. And yeah, kind of makes sense. That's pretty much it for the comments. Yeah, that's... That's pretty bad. Okay, so this is what they actually wrote in the update, the text of it. Not I'm going to see if the last people die here. We've our, All our children, except for the babies, have died, interestingly. And those may be just so new that they haven't died of starvation yet, which would be hilarious. But we're down to, we're down to nine people total, six of which are still adults. Anyway, uh, here's the actual text of the update. Hey, villagers, first we want to thank you for being patient with us. Okay, now after a short break, eh, yeah, I, eh, not really. We are back on track. In this update, you can now see a lot of bug fixes. I, I haven't noticed anything that's fixed. I'm just going to throw it out there. Everything I've noticed is something that's new and now broken. Optimizations and overall improvements. Maybe the optimizations are there. I can't say whether they're there or not. Overall improvements, eh, I'm not sure about that. Including a lot of modder-friendly additions. That's good. What's on fire? Oh, a mine caught on fire. I actually didn't know clay mines could catch on fire. I probably should know that. That's going to burn down, though. We don't have enough people to put that out. Uh, we release more detailed mod-friendly related patch notes later on. Stay tuned. This is the kind of update that if you put it out, like, well, no, no, okay, hold on. Like, how, okay, this is broken. I don't see a single person here who's saying that this works. Normally you'd have someone coming in. They People love to be contrarian when someone posts comments like, oh, it doesn't work for me. So people love to come in and be like, oh, it must be your problem. It works fine for me. People love to do that. And I don't see a single person saying that. So... This feels like something they didn't even pretend to test. Like, look at it. We're, we went from, what, like 40, 40, 50 people down to 11 now. So, but then that's only because half of them are babies. This is like, no sound. That is incredible. Like, how do you fuck that up? You can't click and drag roads anymore. Okay, fine. That You could say maybe that's niche enough that you don't catch it. Maybe you didn't try to build roads when you were testing, fine. But but how do you not catch this? How do you not catch that they can't... This is clearly has to do with the quote-unquote improvements to pathing. They're not pathing to the warehouse at all. I think they are bringing food. But it's so slow. Yeah, this is the only one that's really getting any. It... it straight it makes me think that it's they're so slow to bring food which is a big problem this game had before because you your villagers had to spend kind of an unreasonable amount of time getting warm and eating or getting food and bringing basically carrying things to homes takes too long and is not a dedicated the real problem is it's not a dedicated job and the way it's all set up, it doesn't really work. The, the way they were designing it, they kind of thought, I think, that they were going to have a certain... These hours are for working, and then after a certain period of working, they would then go do day-to-day -day tasks, which would be eating, getting warm, carrying things to their house, moving things maybe for other reasons, stuff like that. That doesn't work very well in a game like this, especially when you're so clearly not very good. I'm not going to say incompetent, but not very good at setting up the pathing. And all these things that go into what is required to make a game where you're actually directly simulating every villager's movements precisely and saying, okay, well, this guy's going to go here because he needs to get this for this. Or this is his job, so he's going to go over to this building where he works and then go back home and blah, blah, blah. You need to be able to actually make that work if you're going to do that and now it seems oops now it seems like they it, they have such a hard time bringing stuff here that it just it doesn't it clearly doesn't work now the other possibility is that it's purely broken because this is a pre-existing save i have a hard time believing that's the case Given all the other complaints I'm seeing, I 
sincerely doubt that. And even if it was, that's still something you really need to thoroughly test before you push out a patch. This is the kind of patch I, I genuinely can't believe we saved the clay mine. That's shocking. Not that it matters. We're not going to play off the save anymore anyway, but... How do you not test that? This is the kind of patch that if you put this out, if you're a game developer and you put out a patch that flops this horrendously, it is now in the... Well, okay, it came out yesterday. Never mind. I thought it was the 6th or 7th. It's actually only the 5th. The patch went out on the 4th, which, you know, depending on what time of day it was, could have only been like a few hours ago. But this is something you roll back. If you push this out, you roll it back. You look and you see what happened. You'd be like, hey, sorry guys, we accidentally pushed it. Um, There's some miscommunication within the company. It wasn't ready to go live. As you can see, we had some bugs we hadn't ironed out yet. Sorry about that. We'll get it fixed and then push it out shortly. That's all you can do. Even if that's not true, that needs to be your story because this is fucked. This is completely fucked. You still have people dying of starvation. So, yeah. Um, man, it's this is rough. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Sorry we didn't get the full 20. This wasn't even really a proper episode anyway, even without the length being an issue. But I mean, you can see this is unplayable. This is completely and utterly unplayable at this point. Um, I'm at a loss. I don't really feel like there's anything that I could do to make this work other than wait for them to fix the game. I guess I could see if I could roll it back to an older version, but I'm guessing they don't let you do that, really. I would have had to have stopped it from updating. I will say the colors look a lot more vibrant, so that's a plus. But I mean, it doesn't really help if the game looks nice, if the game doesn't work anymore. I mean, this is... It's not like one feature doesn't work. The core functionality of the game does not work. Which is a pretty substantial problem, I'm sure you'd agree. Anyway... That's going to do it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it's short, and sorry the game's borked, but I don't really have a whole lot of control over that. If you did enjoy it, there's always a Twitch stream. I am not going to go with Monday streams. I'm actually going to go back to Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, there's perks to doing Monday, but it wasn't really working out timing-wise for me. It's hard to explain. Feel free to come by a stream if you want. Check it out. Uh, we're probably going to be playing Breath of the Wild, which is what I was going to talk about before the game revealed itself to be completely and utterly broken, but uh, great. Breath of the Wild, fantastic game with much better DLC than I expected. The DLC is amazing. So check it out if you haven't already and you've played Breath of the Wild. It's definitely worth going back to for the DLC. I regret not getting it sooner, to be honest, but that's been a game that I can kind of let it play out over a long period of time and just kind of keep coming back and enjoying it so i've enjoyed my experience with it quite a bit anyway yeah feel free to come by check out a twitch stream for that or keep watching the videos here on youtube i appreciate that all the same so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time take care